Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. With All-Star Weekend behind us and the loss of Kobe Bryant still looming over our heads and hearts, we thought it was important to spotlight all Kobe did for basketball and beyond. So Rashawn sat down with his friend and WNBA star Angel McCautry to chat about the impact of his legacy and much more. Let's take a look. So Angel, let's jump right in. What is your most memorable moment uh, with Kobe Bryant? Um, I have two most memorable okay. moments. Uh, 2012 Olympics in London. You have all the top athletes in the world. We're at the opening ceremonies. The queen is introducing every, you know, the games. Every athlete wanted to get next to Kobe. Wow. They wanted to take pictures, they wanted autographs, and we're like, I'm looking like, aren't we all on the same level right now? We're all <laughs> in, it didn't matter. Yeah. He was just like the God. Yeah. So he came and he stood in the middle of the women's basketball team. He was like, Kobe, you can't come over here because you bring too much attention. Literally people were flashing in my face and I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to enjoy, you know, these ceremonies and hear the queen. And we was like, look, you're gonna have to pay us for this, Kobe. Because right. everybody coming over here, the, the, the crowd he attracted, so we made a joke after that, like, hey, you need top flight security today? <laughs> right? So yeah. just, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe those athletes who are Olympians was just looking at him like yeah. on another level. We're all Olympians. I couldn't believe like, it. Like, almost godlike. Godlike. Yeah. yeah. I, I had never experienced anything like that. Yeah. What's the second one? Second one is, you know, I was trying to learn a Kobe move and um, I just couldn't get it. He was trying to teach me. He was taking his time to really, he just loved women, the, yeah. how we play the game. You know, sometimes a lot of people don't respect our game, but not Kobe. Yeah. He, he, he embraced us, he respected us, he loved us. Yes. And he was gonna take our game to another level. Right, and you speak about that. He was doing so many things with the WNBA and girls basketball. Mm -hmm. What type of impact was he making and how do we continue to sustain that if possible? You know, this is just, honestly, I didn't sleep for two days after I heard the news. It's just a, a, a big loss, um, especially for the, the women's basketball world. Not just women's basketball, but women's sports. He was just so involved in what he was doing with Gianna. He was just showing everybody like, this is what I love to do. I love my girls. And you heard what he said, he's a girl dad. He yeah. would have five more girls. Yes. What kind of man says that? Yes. You know what I mean? And he was kind of showing you that at the Olympics when he stood with you all because he wanted the attention to come to you. What did that, I, did you realize the, um, the totality of that moment, what he was doing to bring the attention to you all? At first I didn't. Yeah. I thought he was just trying to get away from everybody and it's just like, Kobe, you can't come over here, man. Everybody coming over here. But he brought the attention to us, yes. you know? People noticed us, they, they respected us because of him. And here's one other thing, but three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, his team hit me up, they invited me. He wanted some WNBA players to come work out with him and watch film in LA. Yeah. And I had just signed to play in Russia overseas. And I was like, man, I was like, I can't go. I told his team I can't go. But I was like, I'll see him in the summertime because him and Gianna come to all the games. Right. So I'll see him at the WNBA games. Right, do you remember your last conversation with him? Um, it was a couple years ago because I hadn't seen him in a while. I'm being hurt, not playing, so I didn't get to see him. Just, he was just teaching me the art of the game, just to work hard and, and put a passion in everything you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why people respected him so much. Yes. So I'm sick I didn't go to that workout. Yeah. I just assumed I would see him this summer, him and Gianna at the games, yeah. and now look. I think we all assume that we would, we all you know, when, we, when you have a player like that or an icon like that, you think they live forever. <laughs> Let's talk about the impact of Kobe's passing right. with Gigi and everyone else who was on that helicopter. How the impact of that tragedy changed you as a person because you were closer than I was. Right. And so many people were closer than I was and I know how it made me feel. It made me feel like the moment is all we have. Do you echo those sentiments? Yeah, I always feel like Kobe has even taught us even in his death, we're not gonna take nothing for granted. Mm -hmm. You can't, family is the most important thing in your life from here on out. Imagine he just teaching us in death as well. Yes. It was like he was there with us. Yes. Even if you didn't know Kobe Bryant, you felt like he was there. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is just, it's, like you said, it, it's kind of unfair. Yeah, it kinda, feels it unfair. It feels unfair. Yes, it does. As far as uh, impressiveness, I mean, he was such an impressive person, or for what I could uh, attain from just being a fan. But talk to us about how impressive he was as a player. As a player, I mean, nobody worked harder than Kobe. If he felt like anybody was going to outwork him, he made sure he stayed extra in the gym, got extra shots up. Nobody's born like that. <laughs> you know, when people get tired, they usually stop. Yeah. He exceeded that. He found a way to just mentally just go above and beyond. And if, man, if, if, if us athletes can get to that point, who knows where we could be, right? Yeah. But it's just a different kind of breed. He's just 
you get a Kobe maybe once every 30, 50 years. Yeah, that's the Mamba mentality. <laughs> it's the Mamba mentality. Like he almost knew that he was special. He knew it. Yeah. He, could, he, he, he walked it, he embraced it, people knew it. When I watched him with the Olympic team, LeBron and all those guys, the way they respected him, I had never seen anything like it. Yeah. He would literally shoot at the end of the basket, just wor warming up. Nobody would come down there and shoot with him because yeah. they knew that was his time. Now, if I go and, you know, and go shoot, people going to come down with me and start shooting. I'm like, okay, all right, guys, we're all shooting. Yeah. But they didn't bother him. That's the respect, the level of respect he had. If you're sticking around with us the full hour, we have more of my conversation with Angel McCutry coming up. And don't forget the conversations continue on Sister Circle TV. Still crazy, yeah. yeah. Still. Oh my God. And we're back on Sister Circle Live. Before the break, we spotlighted Rashawn sit down with WNBA star Angel McCartry and the rest of their riveting conversation. Let's talk about him as a person. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how was he so impressive as a person? You know, I wish people could have um, really gotten to know Kobe more. I think now people are knowing him more after death. They're really starting to, you know, see what he was doing after basketball. A lot of people don't know what he was doing. He created the Mamba Academy. This is, you know, for people to come work out, kids, and he had a women's basketball team, you know, with Gianna, his daughter. Him as a person was, he was an amazing person. He was a giver. He cared. You know, he always took pictures with people. He never denied anybody. Yeah. I've seen NBA players deny pictures from kids. I'm uh, sure. Not right now. Kobe didn't do that. So I wish, you know, people could have really understood him while he was alive than now. He was an amazing person. Yeah, yeah. We talk about his legacy and you wish people would have known those things mm -hmm. while he was alive. And uh, respected journalist Gail King had yeah. an interview uh, with Lisa Leslie where she kind of pressed the buttons a little bit too Absolutely. much. What responsibility do you think we have as journalists, as media, uh, to respect the legacy of Kobe Bryant without having to bring up the things that could have marred his legacy. Right. What responsibility do we have? I understand as a journalist you have to make money and you have to keep, um, you know, the audience, but it's insensitive to me. Um, you're talking about someone who had a great legacy, someone who's now passed. His daughter is, is passed. Why are we even bringing that up? Everybody is innocent until proven guilty. He was not guilty. Right. He was not charged. Right. Why even bring it up? Yeah. Leave it alone. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> you know, as we continue to, to mourn uh, all of these deaths, because I don't, you know, I've been very, I've been very intentional as to not forget about everybody else. Right. Who uh, w was on that helicopter as well. But, Absolutely. But for Kobe, as a father and, 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 and a husband, how do we continue to, to hold that near and dear to our hearts and continue to honor his legacy? What, what, what would you say? I think uh, the best way to honor his legacy is to not take anything for granted because he didn't. He always worked hard at what he did. He didn't complain. He was aching, he was hurting. He didn't feel like getting up every day, but he did it. And that's kind of to encourage everybody. You don't always feel like doing things every day, you're hurting, but, but press your way and work hard at it because amazing things happen from it like it did with Kobe. Yeah. And, Enjoy your family. If you're fighting over something that's stupid, get over it. Yeah. Really embrace your family and just love on them because we all seen with the situation, the day is not promised. You think he wasn't gonna come back and see his wife? He just had two baby girls. Yeah. You know, he wants to see them grow up, you think? So y'all get over any issues you have and just love on everybody, yes. love on your family. Yes. You know, Kobe was conquering basketball and entertainment. What did he, what did, that teach you about making sure that you continue, even after basketball for Angel McCautry, mm -hmm. like continuing to further your legacy in different areas. Yeah, he showed us a lot. He, you know, just be creative. Put your ideas out there. Nobody can hold you back. So yes. he's, he's taught us so much. Yes, good. Kobe was larger than life, and I want you to fill in the blank. Kobe Bryant is. Kobe Bryant is a legendcy. Huh. A legend C. Yeah. Nice. You different. know what that means? It's different. Yes. Explain. He's everything. It's just everything all in one. In one. I mean, he was larger than life. Like I told you, people looked at him like he was a guy. The way he worked, um, just his demeanor, the way he carried himself, the way he loved his family. And we watched him grow up. Yeah. You know? How will your game be different to honor him? I'm just going to give it all I got. I'm not going to complain no more. 
you know? Oh man, my knee's hurting. Oh, this is hurting. He said, suck it up and work hard. Yeah. So that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Yeah. We all have to do that. We all gotta do that. Yeah, he taught us that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, we reported a few weeks on Sister Circle Live that the WNBA players have gotten a pay increase, yes. much deserved. Oh yeah. Tell us how you feel about that. You know what, we on the right path. Um, I feel like women's tennis, they weren't there either until they started speaking up, mm -hmm. you know, Billie Jean King. So that's what we're doing now. We started speaking up and saying, hey, we're putting our bodies through a lot. We deserve this increase. Yes. So I'm glad that people are starting to notice and, and these things are happening and we're headed in the right direction. Yeah. The WNBA has only been around 21 years. So they said um, in 21 years, we're farther along than the NBA was in its 21st year. Okay. So we're heading the right and, direction. And, and, and for players like Skylar Diggins, who just became a mother. Exactly. And, and They're playing pregnant. People don't even know this stuff we're going through. Yes. And she's not the first. Right. She's just the first to speak up. Right. Yes. Other women have played pregnant. Right. And not spoke on it. Right. Well, I'm glad that she did. And I'm glad yes. each and every one of you are speaking up so you can get that bread yes, yes. that you deserve. Speaking of bread. Deserve speaking yes. of bread. <laughs> Free agency. I mean. Oh, yeah. I mean, what can we expect from Angel McCautry? You know what? I'm testing the waters to see what's out there. So um, we'll find out soon what's okay. going to happen. But if I don't come back to Atlanta, I want to thank Atlanta for everything it's done for me. I've grown up here as a woman. Hey, and I still live here, so you'll still see me around town, yes. but um, just playing for a different team, maybe. So um, just thank you, Atlanta, for everything you've done. And we're glad that you're on, you're on the men, like you're getting healthier and yep. all that, because you had, you had suffered some injuries. I suffered some injuries, now getting healthy and working my way on up, and it's an Olympic year, yes. Tokyo 2020, yes. so just trying to work my way to that. Yes, so, good, good. Well, good. well, thank you so much, Angel. Thank we appreciate you, your time today Absolutely. as we continue to honor the life and legacy of Kobe Bryant. Angel McCautry, everybody. Thank you. Absolutely. Angel. I just love Angel. I love yeah, Angel. She's fantastic. Yeah, she really she is. is. So good and willing to come and, and speak with us, um, you know, because we've, we've reached out to a lot of NBA stars who are still, they're still very guarded as to, mm -hmm. you know, the conversations they want to have about Kobe, but we really appreciate her willingness to come here Ooh. to speak with us. Well, kudos to you, Rashawn. Thank because you. Because that's how the conversation with Gail and Leslie should have gone. Mm, thank you. So that is an example that. of how that conversation should have gone in such a time like this. Yes. So kudos to you. Thank you. And that's, that's what journalism is. Yes. <laughs> well, but, but not just that. That's probably why some of the NBA players and WNBA players are so guarded. Yeah. Because they're afraid of the line of questioning. Mm -hmm. I thought uh, that uh, your interview was tastefully done. Thank you. It was beautifully done. Thank you. It was masterfully done. Oh, thank you, ladies. And uh, I, uh, I think that people would be less guarded if mm -hmm. they were to face such an interview. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you your love and sentiments, of course. Our amazing production team, uh, Cherie Nicole Welton, she's produced that, and uh, Michael and everybody who had their hands in this particular piece, I appreciate you. And, you know, just a few days after we talked, we uh, found out that Angel is actually going to join the Las Vegas Yay! Aces. Yay! Wow. So best of luck to you. We are so very happy for you. And again, thank you for sharing your thoughts, your sentiments about Kobe Bryant with Sister Circle Live.